In all honesty, the best way to debug your React Native application is to use this tool provided by Facebook called Flipper. And perhaps it is so good that it can be the reason why you use React Native in the first place. So let's take a look. To demo some of its features, we have a simple button component that displays the current count and its on press is wired to a function that increments set count value after logging the previous count. This custom counter component is present within our render tree under the app component where it is nested inside a safe area view. And this safe area view has a simple style applied to it to center the counter on screen. Now the first step of course for Flipper is to download and install it. That is pretty easy, go to fbflipper.com, select the download for your operating system. Once that completes, open that up and follow the instructions. On a Mac, I have to simply drag and drop the application into the applications folder. With the installation out of the way, open your React Native app the way you've always done it, for example, within the simulator or the emulator, and then launch Flipper. Once Flipper launches, it will automatically notice that there is a simulator or emulator running, and that there is a React Native app in dev mode on that device and it will automatically connect to it. You can see that these two levels of connections have been made by Flipper over here. We are connected to the device as well as the React Native app running on the device. We can start viewing the logs at the device level. And now if we click the button, you can see that the logs show up as you would expect. We are getting the previous value logged every single time. Now, of course, since we are using React Native, we can view the logs under the React Native level as well. And there isn't much difference over here beyond the fact that this will be a bit more filtered. Honestly, a lot of the debugging that we need to do for software development nowadays, you can do via the logs. And among all the various ways, the best way to view the logs within Flipper is to jump into the Hermes debugger. Hermes is the JavaScript runtime within modern React Native. And the developer tools over here would be something that is instantly familiar for someone who uses Chrome for debugging. For example, here you can see the messages being logged within the console tab. Now the most powerful panel within Hermes debugger is the sources panel. And here all our source code has been loaded with source maps. So as an example, we can jump into the source code of counter.tsx, place a breakpoint at our console.log statement. And now when we click the button, that breakpoint is triggered and our application is paused at that point. And you can use this workflow to debug any of the application logic that you might have. For example, here we can see the value of the count before we increment it. And when we are done, we can resume our program execution. Now, the main reason why you should definitely be using Flipper is its built-in support for React DevTools. If you've used the Chrome DevTools for React, then this is something that should be instantly familiar for you. This allows us to see the components within our React render tree. For example, here you can see our app component, which contains the safe area view, followed by the counter, followed by the button. You can use the side panel to modify what is being shown on screen as well. For example, here we can modify the style that is being used by the safe area view to change the alignment of the items from center to flex start. This is great when you want to test out quick modifications to your application without having to jump into the source code. We can even add new styles. For example, we can add the property background color and set it to the value hash DDD to get a slightly gray background on our safe area view. We can even see and change the properties that get passed to the component. For example, we jump to the button component and change the title to be whatever we want. For example, the text hello fam. And once we press enter to commit this change, you can see that it is reflected immediately on screen in our running app. As you can see, there is a lot of power built into Flipper, but this lesson covered most of the features that you would use while developing your React Native applications. You can continue your React Native journey over here. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.